goes like this, and I'm sure you've heard it. Rise and be healed in the name of Jesus. Let faith arise in your soul. Rise and be healed in the name of Jesus. For he has healed you and made you whole. When Amy Elizabeth was, we were going through the situation with her and, and the, what the doctors were telling us about her dying and not having an immunity system. And we would, and she would be screaming and crying and running high fevers. And we would walk through the house. And the first song that we would always sing is Victory in Jesus. But the second one was this one that I just sang, Rise and Be Healed. And it said, let faith arise in your soul. And that's your mind and your will and your emotions and your precepts. And so I ask tonight mm -hmm. that you put aside any preconceived ideas that you might have about God's healing power and that you'll receive what Brother Fred has to bring to us tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay. The title of the message tonight is God Restores Our Frame. And by that, I mean our skeleton. Uh, and he lines everything back up. And it's important. It's important to him. It's important for you uh, to have uh, your frame straight and all of your bones in alignment like they're supposed to be. But there's a lot of injuries that, that can happen over time that... Uh, can even bring devastating effects to our health. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's the reason we're focusing on this because God wants to restore. Uh, Jesus came to restore all. Amen. Uh, you know, a lot of people are in pain and uh, they uh, look to doctors for uh, medication, uh, which basically addresses the symptoms and not the root causes. But today we're, we're going to look at the root causes of some pain. And perhaps you've experienced some of the, uh, the difficulties and damages and injuries that I'll be talking about and mm -hmm. even the pain and the consequences of those, of those things. Your spinal area is very important uh, because it stores the spinal fluid, of course, and the energy flows out from that area to all parts of the body and sends messages uh, to to the body about uh, oh, what is needed and it sends then the body and then the brain responds and so if there's a, a need over here well there's a communication between the body and the uh, brain and uh, the brain is in, in our uh, our nervous system uh, not not one that we're aware of. I mean, we don't think about breathing. We don't think about our heart beating. That's that just goes on. But I mean, that's a part of our nervous system, and it's it's all uh, orchestrated and run by the brain up here, and and it's getting signals down to the organs to work, and or and the messages back to it about uh, maybe the blood pressure needs to be increased or decreased. So. All of that's very important. And then if you have an injury uh, to, to your frame some way, uh, it, it can cause those energies not to flow and those messages not to flow like they're supposed to. And you don't get the results in your body and related to health that you would like and that God wants. You know, God sent Jesus mm -hmm. to the cross and he bore not only our sins and our sicknesses but also our uh, i mean not just our iniquities and our sins but he also bore our sorrows and our pains and so it's a finished work he uh the work on the cross is finished Amen. he bore your pain and so you don't need to be in constant pain and and i've seen a lot of people that were in constant pain because <clears throat> perhaps they didn't understand about the finished work of the cross and what was purchased at the cross but we all need to review this uh, from time to time to remember what 
the magnificent work that Jesus did on the cross for us, the promises that we have as a, as a result of that. Mm -hmm. Now, healing and health are very important to Sherry and I because we're a part of the kingdom and we want to be fit for the kingdom. And well, God mm -hmm. has a work for us uh, to do and, yeah. and we've got to be healthy. And, and I know that each one of you needs to be healthy and, and God purchased your healing and your health uh, on the cross uh, through the precious blood of Jesus Christ and by his body that was bruised and broken. Uh, and, and he laid it all down his whole life so that you can walk in divine healing and divine health. And so let's, let's take, take up what Jesus purchased for us and let's mm -hmm. receive it. It's a, it's a gift. It's a gift. Yeah. And so we receive it by grace and by faith. And so let's receive it. Uh, uh, the core uh, passage is perhaps uh, Psalm 103 and uh, verses uh, 2 and 3 and, and then uh, later 13 and 14. But basically down in uh, 13 and 14, it says that God knows our frame uh, mm -hmm. and he knows how we were made. Mm -hmm. He knows all of that. But, but the beginning of it says... Uh, Remember all of his benefits. Don't forget mm -hmm. his benefits. And Amen. part of his Amen. benefits are healing. And so right there is a connection between healing and our frame. And we need to recognize that this is God's will. God wants uh, your healing. He wants you to be made whole. So, Sherry, I'd like for you to read mm -hmm. these four verses. Sure. And it's great to see Victoria <clears throat> and the baby. It's always great to see Tommy as well. But uh, Victoria, we love you and we've been praying for you. Psalm 103, verses 2 and 3 says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all of his benefits, who forgives all of our iniquities, who heals all of our diseases. As a father, pities or has mercy and compassion for his children so the lord has mercy and compassion for those who fear him for he knows our frame he remembers that we were dust oh wow so we've got a father that loves us has compassion upon us and, and that is also demonstrated and, and exhibited by Jesus Christ in Matthew 14, 14. He had compassion on people and he healed their sick. Mm -hmm. And when verse. Matthew 14, 14. And when Jesus went out, he saw a great multitude and he was moved with compassion for them and healed their sick. Okay. So he didn't say, well, uh, I can't heal that sick. Sickness. That's his sickness. Or I can't heal that sick person. No, he healed the sick. He healed all their sick. He healed all their diseases, all their sicknesses. And, and part of that are uh, anything related to your spinal injury or bones or what, whatever kind of injury you've had. Uh, I imagine we've all had uh, some falls, uh, maybe been hit or uh, maybe been, been, accidents. been in accidents. Uh, and, and this is a message is for all of us. And, and God provided for this. He purchased uh, your healing so that you could be made whole. Jesus mm. see, was bruised, beaten, uh, and the straps on his back were for your healing. And it's every part of your body and your bones and your frame and your spinal cord, all of that was purchased healing for all of those areas were purchased mm -hmm. by the cross, by what Jesus did on the cross. Now, mm -hmm. there's a couple of verses that say he makes the crooked straight. Well, if you've got Amen. something crooked uh, in your back, a lot of people have a scoliosis or so, to some form, mm -hmm. uh, to some uh, degree. Uh, but Jesus uh, wants it, wants us whole. God makes the crooked straight. Should you read uh, this, Isaiah? 40 and Luke 3. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 40 verse 4. Every valley shall be exalted and every mountain and hill brought low. The crooked places shall be made straight 
and the rough places smooth. And then in Luke chapter 3, verse 5, every valley, it's the same, the same scripture, every valley shall be filled and every mountain and hill brought low. The crooked places shall be made straight and the rough ways smooth. Okay. And he's talking about us right there. Okay. So have you had damages uh, to your body? Well, I'm going to just tell you a few about uh, myself and some of the things that have happened in my life that's all affected my frame. And uh, it's, it's had consequences. It's had effects on my, on my health and on my body. And I want to talk about those. So the way it works uh, is you've, you've got the, the spinal fluid and that spinal fluid has to go out in all of those different areas to all of the organs and, and uh, will send out messages, electrical messages messages and the messages go back and forth. Now, if you've had a spinal injury, uh, then those messages don't flow properly. And for example, uh, it may be that uh, your body uh, needs a blood pressure change and the, and the brain could do that. The brain could send out another signal to change the blood pressure. So that's that communication between the uh, brain and mm -hmm. the organ. And, uh, but if those messages are not uh, received uh, back and forth between the brain and the organs, then uh, the blood pressure doesn't change or uh, the different situations don't change and the uh, brain's not able to uh, help the organ like it would want to. And over time, you may not see this initially, but if you've had an injury uh, to your back, and that's what I talked mm -hmm, about, mm -hmm. maybe it's made crooked, uh, or maybe you were born that way. Uh, but if, but God says, I'm going to make the crooked straight. straight. And, and so if those messages and that energy is not getting out to the different organs, then there might be a disease developed as a result of that. Mm -hmm. uh, and for example, it might be if you've had a, uh, uh, injury to your back, uh, your blood pressure may be high, mm -hmm. uh, or, uh, your heart, you may eventually, it may not show up immediately, but because of those messages, uh, not getting back and forth between the organ and the brain, then uh, the, the heart, heart or some other organ may not work uh, to the way it's supposed to, the way it's designed. And, and so consequently over time, it's, uh, it's functioning might deteriorate. There might actually run into a disease. I, I've heard about people because of their spinal injuries, uh, they've had a heart attack later on. Well, the doctors uh, didn't see that, but, but a after they looked at it over time though, they found out, well, it all went back to a spinal yeah, injury yeah. Uh, because a man fell out of a tree mm -hmm. and, and uh, fell on his head and, and uh, he, he still functioned and, and uh, walked and but but things were not exactly right and so uh, at an early age uh, he had a heart attack well they were able to uh, take care of it and so he didn't die at that point but it all uh, was related to a an injury to his uh, spine and so that could show up in any of the organs uh, especially because, the kidneys because uh, of the message if so if the Let's say you've had a, 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 a damage to a particular area of, uh, of the spine. Well, then those messages don't get there to that particular organ. And so there can be some damages uh, to the organs. Now, there's another thing that happens, though, with, um, and that is your limbs uh, are misaligned. They can become misaligned. You might have been born perfect and your arms and legs, everything just balanced and, and looked exactly the way they were supposed to. But over time, you can have some injuries uh, to your body uh, and uh, your arms and legs or arms or legs, they might get out of alignment. And th this is definitely something that happened to me. And this is a, mm -hmm. something the Lord corrected 40 years ago. Right. Uh, and, and I didn't realize it because it was, and what kind, first of all, let me just tell you what kind of accidents and 
injuries I'd had. I had been in uh, at least three automobile accidents as a little boy. Um, I, I know one time my sister was driving and uh, uh, other times I don't remember exactly who was driving, but I know I've had several accidents. And, and so as a result of those accidents, uh, the energies uh, that were in my uh, spinal area are supposed to flow out, but they didn't flow out normally because there were damages uh, to my skeleton and to mm -hmm. my spinal area. And, and so consequently, over time, I began to walk funny. Uh, I, I was... Uh, you favored one side over the other. And, and it was like one leg was shorter than the other. Now, I don't know that that was exactly what it was. That's what it looked like. And I definitely, uh, as I was walking, my shoe uh, would wear out on one side a lot faster than the other side uh, because I, my, uh, just the way I was walking wasn't uh, like it was supposed to, like God designed it. And so one day, oh, over 40 years ago, uh, in our church uh, congregation that we were going to, where we believed in here, healings and miracles. Uh, well, I went up for correction on that. And uh, it happened so dramatically. What happened, I sat down in a chair and my pastor uh, looked at my legs and, and one of them was shorter than the other one. Now, what was probably, uh, as I look back on it, what may have actually happened was my hip may have been... Uh, uh, misaligned, uh, but it looked like one leg was shorter than the other. But I don't believe I was born with one leg shorter than the other. I think it was just the wear and tear on my life and on my body over time. And, and so it looked like one of the legs. And so when he prayed for my legs, what happened, uh, the energy of the Holy Spirit just flowed through uh, the spinal area and into the leg. And the, and there was a straightening and a, a amen, balance. And, and it was all by the Lord. The Holy Spirit did it. But mm -hmm. what was funny, when I got up and to began to walk, I tried to walk like I was. I was trying to walk like that. <laughs> and yet the legs were, were lined up in, in the same length. And I couldn't do it anymore. So I was like that for a minute until I got uh, adjusted. And, and so that has happened um, uh, more than one time. Yeah. But, but that was the most dramatic uh, time right there. And, and that was over 40 years ago. And so we've known about this kind of injury and the kind of healings and miracles uh, for a long time. And we've practiced it in our ministry and we've seen uh, wonderful results. And I know people have had things that you wouldn't even think were related to your frame, but in fact, uh, they were healed. when Once we, we got there, frames yeah. aligned and there were healings and it might have been in their intestines or it might have been in their kidneys or where they were having pain or or things not functioning properly and it was all because of the injuries that had happened uh, to their bodies over time and like I said I, I had had uh, several uh, injuries myself and and so I I've had uh, that happen and uh, just a few months ago, I was just walking. I do a lot of walking out in the woods. and uh, But on this particular day, I was on the sidewalk, and I noticed my right foot just kept turning out. It, it always turned out. It did not go like it was supposed to. So I had came home, and I told Sherry that she needed to pray for me. And uh, so she said, I, I sat in a chair. She sat in a chair in front of me. We faced each other. She got my legs, and Sure enough, uh, things were out of balance again. So she prayed mm. for me, and 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 I was straight. God straightened me. It's all about the power of the Holy Spirit he, he flowing through me. He made the crooked me. straight. He made the crooked straight, and then I could walk, and my feet well were perfectly aligned. Okay, so uh, that those were some uh, miracles that I received related to this message, and we've applied it, and a lot of other people have been healed, and. And we're going to present it tonight and want you to be healed because many of you have had injuries to your body and it's had consequences that maybe you didn't even realize it was having. In other parts of it, your body. And it, it, it can be anywhere in your body that you could suffer consequences, adverse consequences from these kinds of injuries. 
that we've all probably experienced uh, over our lifetime. Another one uh, that happened to me was that uh, uh, a few days ago, the Lord said, uh, showed me in a dream that he was going to uh, uh, help me in an area that I had been injured in the past. And, uh, and mm -hmm. a couple of days after that, uh, he showed me that what it was is that, and this was over 60 years ago, when I was in high school, I had a fo football injury. I never thought about it since then, but I remember it vividly. It was, it was very traumatic. Uh, we, were, we were out playing football at high, in high school, and I was running down the field, uh, and there was I got blindsided. Somebody hit me from uh, the back. I never saw him coming, and it wasn't just like I fell, but I mean, I was pushed down very hard and my head bounced on the ground like a ball would bounce on the ground. I, I had no uh, ability, no way to protect myself or catch myself I was, because I didn't know it was happening. And now all of a sudden I just bounced and my head bounced up a couple of times uh, from that. And, and so the Lord showed me that he was healing me from that injury uh, oh, because yeah. I've been I've been asking about these kinds of things, mm -hmm. and he, he showed me that he was healing me from that injury. And what happened then the next few days, my blood pressure went down several points. Yeah. And I know it was a direct result of just that communication between the Lord and me that he wanted me uh, to be healed mm -hmm. of that injury, which happened over 60 years ago. Wow. Sometimes we just don't know the consequences of them, but the Lord does. The Lord knows your frame. He knows what has happened, mm -hmm. and he wants you uh, sound and whole. You, you know, the, there's a, a couple of verses I want you to read about bones. Um, yeah. So, Sherry, read these two verses. Proverbs 14.30. This is out of the Amplified Bible. A calm and undisturbed mind and heart are the life and health of the body. But envy, jealousy, and wrath are like rottenness to the bones. Oh, and it can affect your bones. Uh, oh, well, wow, you know, wow. The bones, that's where the blood is made, the blood, red blood cells. Yeah, in made. the marrow of the bones. And where, so the bones are very important. Yeah, it's where the blood cells are so, produced. So I want Sherry to read that first part of that verse again. Let us know where do we get life and health. A calm and undisturbed mind and heart are the life and health of the body. Oh, is that you? Is that mm. the way you are? Oh, read, hallelujah. Read that phrase again. We need to all get you. A calm that. and undisturbed mind and heart are the life and health of the body. And so how do we get such a mind? Well, let's look at Isaiah 26, 3. This is one of our favorite verses. You will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you. Okay. Because he's trusting you. So when we, when we trust in the Lord, we'll keep our focus on him and he'll keep us in perfect peace. And that's going to bring And healing. in perfect alignment. And bring perfect hope. Amen. Help. Amen. Help. Amen. Life. All Hallelujah. Who Hallelujah. Is this is exciting. Now, Thank you, I have Jesus. three examples of people being made whole in the Bible. And so if there's some injury uh, that you've had, perhaps you've had a, some kind of an accident, a sports accident, or it just to fall uh, in your home or somewhere, or, you know, uh, Sherry and I were talking the other day, we both fell on ice and mm -hmm. hurt our, our uh, tailbone, both of us. I, I remember when I was a freshman in, in uh, college, I, I walked out and I walked out on ice. I didn't know it was there. And I did, woo! And again, I couldn't even stop myself. I couldn't even catch myself. And I hit directly on my tailbone. That was an injury. And I, I had, that was a traumatic injury for me. Well, and we both had injuries to our knees. And, uh, and, and we know lots of people who have, uh, uh, difficulty and pain uh, in different parts of, in the different joints, yeah. but knees in particular. Okay. But Jesus 
paid the price for our healing Amen. that Amen. we could be made whole. Now, I want to share you to read about uh, Acts chapter 9. This is one of my very favorite verses. It's so simple. It just gets down to something Peter said. And, and he said, hey, uh, Emmaus, uh, Jesus Christ makes you whole. That's what, mm -hmm. That has gone off alive to me. It's a living mm -hmm. verse. Yes. And, and so I don't say Emmaus. I say, Freddie, Jesus Christ made you whole. Jesus Christ heals you. Some translations say heal. Uh, some say made you whole. Jesus Christ makes you whole. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ heals you. Freddie, Jesus Christ heals you. I'll let you put your name in there sometime if you want to. Hallelujah. That verse, you need to catch hold of that verse. Uh, there, that There's no verse that's going to give you more life than that one right there. Catch Amen. Hold of it. Amen. Let's let Sherry read it. Acts 9, 32 through 35. This was a man who was paralyzed. Maybe he was mm -hmm. born that way. Maybe he was injured. Paralyzed. Mm -hmm. Listen to this. Now it came to pass as Peter went through all parts of the country that he also came down to the saints who dwelt in Lydia. There he found a certain man, Ananias, who had been bedridden for eight years and was paralyzed. Eight, okay, so it wasn't in his life. He probably wasn't born that way. That's right. He, he, had, he had an accident, I would say, or some kind of a damage to his body. Now for eight years, is bedridden and paralyzed. Okay, go ahead. And Peter said to him, Ananias, Jesus Christ heals you. Arise and make your bed. Then he arose immediately. So all who dwelt in Lydia and Sharon saw him and turned to the Lord. Oh, that, that's what will happen. Hallelujah. You're, yes. healing, you're going to impact your family. Yes. You're going to impact your family. Are your friends, when you receive your healing for whatever injury you have had, whatever is going on in your body, and if it if it's pain, if you've been living in pain, remember Jesus bore your pain. You don't have to bear pain. Uh, and it was a, in the finished work of the cross. Now, why that verse is so important to me, what Peter said to him, is because. Uh, I was sick one time, and I think I've told you this story before, but but I was in bed. I had a high fever. Uh, I was in the middle of the day, mm -hmm. and uh, and I heard the Holy Spirit said, uh, arise and make up make your up bed. Your bed. Okay, and so I got up. I got out of bed, and I started down, and about the time I got to the foot of my bed, uh, of course, I hadn't made up the bed because if this didn't work, I was going to go back to bed because I was very <laughs> sick. But this time when I got to the foot of the bed, he said the same words again, arise. Now I had arisen physically, but not spiritually. Uh, I had, mm -hmm. I was up walking, uh, but my spirit and my mind and everything was ready to go back to bed. But when he said it at the foot of my bed, he said, arise and make up your bed. So I walked back to the top of the bed and I made it up and I walked out and when I walked out of the bedroom I was, I was healed. healed. But see, it was exactly this same verse. It was the same words. Arise and make, make up, up, your, up bed. your bed. And I did and I Hallelujah. was healed. And so we've got to arise within us. Yes. Not just physically. There's a lot of people up uh physically, but they they haven't taken hold of it with their faith and yeah. and or arisen. Uh, in inwardly because God works inward to the outside, from the inside to the outside. Now, remember that. He always works from the inside to the outside. And that's what it said in uh, Psalm 103, if we'd read it out of the mm -hmm. uh, uh, Passion Translation, it said he works from the inside to the outside. And so you've got to get your inner man to rise up first. That's what I had to do that day when I was so sick. I had to get my inner man to rise up and then I was healed. So it didn't, I wasn't healed first. See, I'm not, I'm, when I was laying there uh, sick in bed, I didn't get healed there. I got healed after my inner man rose up Amen. and I walked back and did exactly obeyed the word and I made up my bed and I walked out of the bedroom and I was healed. We've Hallelujah. got to have that inner healing. We've got to be healed on the inside and then it's going to show up 
on the outside. Hallelujah. Now, now there's another uh, person that Jesus said you made whole. Of course, there's a lot of them we could talk about, but there are two other examples I want to, to mention. And one is in Luke. And let me just give you the background. It's Luke 17. And there were 10 men that came to Jesus and they wanted to be made whole. They wanted, no, they wanted to be healed. They wanted to be healed of leprosy. Now, the thing about leprosy, there's just all kinds of, uh, of uh, problems with the skin and, and then, uh, and it starts eating the flesh and it, and it starts and the fingers, you might lose fingers or toes or whatever, but they just wanted to be healed from leprosy. Okay. So Jesus told them, go on down to the priest and show yourself to the priest because he healed them. Okay. And nine of them went on down to the priest, but one turned around he was a foreigner, but he turned around. And I want to share you to read this out of Luke 17 because he was not only healed, but he was made whole. All of, mm, maybe he'd lost mm, some mm. fingers or lost some toes, but the, mm, he was mm. made whole. Now the mm, other hallelujah. nine, they were healed, but Ooh, he was, was made, made whole. whole. Okay, Sherry, I want you to read this. Luke 17, 17 through 19. This is through the, the Passion translation. So where are the other nine, Jesus asked. Weren't there 10 who were healed? See, all 10, ten were, were healed. healed. Jesus healed all 10 of them, but he didn't make all 10 of them whole. So, mm. but the one who realized he was healed, he turned back and he worshiped Jesus. Listen to this. They all refused to return to give thanks and give glory to God, except you, a foreigner from Samaria. Then Jesus said to the healed man lying at his feet, arise and go. It was your faith that brought you salvation and made you whole. Made you him whole. whole. All those other nine men, they would have still had the effects of the leprosy. They were healed, but they had the effects, whatever mm -hmm. effects that stuff had eaten on their bodies. It, they still had the effects of it, but it, they were healed. But this man was made whole. And that's what Jesus wants for you. He wants you mm -hmm, not only mm -hmm. healed, but he wants you made, made whole. whole. Amen. And Amen. how did this guy get it? He recognized yes, who Jesus was. Yes. He came and he fell down at his feet and he, he worshiped gave him, him thanks. And he gave and glorified God. And he was made whole. I, I think there's some secrets there that we can take ourselves. Let's mm -hmm. let's thank him. For any healing that we receive, and, and let's give him praise and honor and glory for that. Now, there's one final verse I'd like to talk about, and that is the woman with the issue of blood. And uh, this is Mark chapter 5, and it begins in verse 25, but we'll just look at the end of it. And let me just tell you the story. She was an outcast from society because she had a continual uh, issue mm -hmm. of blood, and, and you couldn't be around people if, the, if you had that effect. That's what the law said. Uh, uh, the law of Moses said you couldn't be around people. And uh, uh, she had gone to many doctors. She must have had a lot of money to begin with but because she had spent years going to doctors and spending mm -hmm. much money on doctors and she didn't get any better. Dude, you hear yeah, that? Yeah. She spent all that she had over years going to the doctors and she never got any better. But when she came to Jesus mm. and then she began to hear about Jesus and she, she said, I'm going to go and uh, see him. And I, if I just touch, touch the hem of his garment, I know I shall be made whole. See, her faith was beginning to arise. Her inner man, her inner, uh, inner being was rising up. If I may but touch his, uh, the hem of his, his garment, garment, I shall be made whole. One, one of the, uh, a trans, uh, one of the Gospels, uh, Matthew or Luke, because we're reading out of Mark here, but in Matthew or Luke, she just said within herself. She didn't even say the words out loud. It said she said within herself, if I may but touch the hem of his garment. You know, you may, you may be in a case where you can't speak out. There might be some unbelievers around you, and you, you're just believing for your own healing. Uh, just, just speak it within yourself. That's what she did. And then she went there and she touched the hem. 
for, forced her way through the crowd, touched the hem of his garment, and she was made whole because the power of God went into her body. Amen. So her, her faith reached yes, out yes. and touched, and the power of God went into her. So it was her faith that brought down the power of God out of the life of Jesus and out mm, of the body mm, of Jesus mm. and out of that garment. I want to share to read this. Mm -hmm. There's some real important keys here. Then Jesus said to her, Daughter, because you dared to believe, your faith has made you whole. Okay. No, no. Your faith has healed you. Okay, your faith has healed you. It was her okay. faith. It wasn't Jesus' faith. Did you get that? It wasn't Jesus' faith. It was her faith. Your faith. Made healed her. Yes. Okay, but that's not the end of the story. Right. Jesus doesn't want you just to stop right there. He wants you made whole. So let's go ahead and read a little more. Go with peace in your heart. Oh, peace. Oh, we're back to peace. Yeah. Okay. Remember that that's where your health comes from. You stay in health when you stay in peace. He, and he will mm. keep you in perfect peace whose mind is stayed, stayed on, on him. him. And there's oh, a Jesus. difference between getting a healing and walking in health. There's a difference. And, and a lot of people are always trying to get a healing, to get healed from migraine headaches, to get healing from high blood pressure, to get healing uh, for joint pain, uh, to get healing for neck pain. It, it's, it's, they're, they're always in that, I need a healing. But there is a higher realm, a higher level, and that's what Brother Fred and I want, and that's what we want for this group, is that we walk in divine health. Amen. We well, walk in that health. And we're not trying to Hallelujah. get anything. We've got it. Woo! Hallelujah. It. Hallelujah. Like that woman, her faith my, healed her. Okay, read on. Go with peace in your heart and be free from your suffering. Be free from your suffering. Yes. Oh, do you see that? If you've had an injury... I know there's a lot of people uh, who have injuries and uh, who've had injuries and they have had pain in their bodies. That's, that's Maybe been suffering pain uh, at some times. But she, he said to her, "Be free from your suffering." He's saying the same thing to you because he shows no partiality, no favoritism. He's saying to you, "Your faith heals you. You be free." from your suffering hallelujah, hallelujah. now we're going and, uh, to i'm yeah, going to turn it over to sherry and we're no, going you to, tell them what you're going to do we're, okay i want to tell you um one of the things that you can do I don't, if you've had these injuries we're going to pray for you in a moment uh but it may be here if you just move over there sorry mm -hmm. it may be that you don't even know if you're frame has been affected by that so i'm just going to get here where perhaps you can see me and i want to demonstrate something and, and i want you to to do it you can do it there just step away from uh, uh, your uh, phone or, or computer and do it uh put your and i've got to say because i don't really have the room to do it but get your arms way out and come and keep them straight and come one time to, and uh fast and clap your hands and then hold it there and, and like that okay now hold it there now here is the issue did your hands come together if you come real slow you can make them come perfectly but uh, i don't want you to come perfectly i want you to hold your arms way out and to slap them together but hold it there and then look are your hands in perfect alignment if they're not in perfect alignment, maybe you're t maybe some of the fingers are higher than the others. Maybe some are longer than the others. Uh, if they're keep those arms straight and do it one time and do it fast and hard and clap it and hold it there and see where your hands and where your fingers fit. And if they don't, if they're not perfectly aligned, if your two hands are not perfectly aligned, then you need healing in your body you need restoration mm -hmm. in your body it needs and, to make the crooked straight and it may be because uh, one of the shoulders is lower than the other one uh, or maybe it's your hips out of alignment maybe there's some kind of 
uh, misalignment in your body. Uh, but if you didn't, don't even remember some of the injuries you may have had, if you don't even remember injuries, you, you can still, your limbs can be misaligned. And, and so we want to correct that tonight, but what are we going to have to do? It's by your faith. It's not our faith. It's your faith. You've got to let your inner man rise up and be uh, filled with faith and be expecting miracles to happen tonight. And I'm going to move yeah, over now yeah. and let Sherry lead us. In, hallelujah. In hallelujah. And so we're just going to give you a couple of seconds to step away from your stand up, mm -hmm. step away uh, from your device and check it yourself. We don't have to see it. You find out whether your hands come together. Keep them, your arms straight, do a fast clap, hard clap, and wherever you, your hands clap together, just hold them there. Now, obviously, you can just come slow and keep your elbows crooked and, and just come slow, and you can line them up perfectly. But this is not to line them up perfectly. This is to see whether or not you are walking around with a misalignment in your limbs mm -hmm. because we want you made whole Amen. because jesus bore the pain yes. suffering yes. And, and humiliation uh on the cross for, so that you can be made whole All amen right, amen uh, we're just going to pray right now and believe the lord uh father i thank you for making every person's frame whole in the name of jesus and their arms uh in in a perfect alignment uh their legs in perfect alignment uh their shoulders in perfect alignment uh in the name of jesus Amen. and that you will touch their spinal Amen. area and that energy and fluid will begin to flow out and send those messages to the brain and and bring back healing to every organ in their body in the name of jesus amen in the name of jesus right now he's doing that with your kidneys uh he's doing that in the in the neck area oh hallelujah i see the fluid starting to flow in your body i see it praise the name of jesus and that is the energy that god put in your body whoo hallelujah we give him all the credit, all the praise, all the glory, all the glory for making our bodies. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. And I know that this has been a different message uh, for all of us, but it's something that we want the pain to stop. We want the, the suffering to stop uh, from the, the people of God. We want you to be fit. When God tells you to go and do something, then you're able physically and mentally and spiritually to go and get it done. Hallelujah. And the, and the enemy tries to stop that flow of the, of, the, of the energy that's already in your body. You're made up of energy. You're made up of the power of God. Hallelujah. He breathed life into you. When you came, like, I'm going to take Tommy and Victoria. They just had a new baby. When that baby came through the birth canal and came out, God breathed life into those little bitty lungs. Hallelujah. And that's what he wants to do. And that's what happens when you allow God to align you. And so, Father, I ask, I ask for that. Yes, Lord. Just ask him right now. Yes, Align, my Align my body in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. And I want the full energy of God to be flowing all over my body. Amen. All over my, in, in my brain and in my kidneys and in my, uh, my heart, in my lungs. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. There's there's a, a one person here that in in this session tonight that uh, you've had some difficulty uh, digesting your food lately. Just ask the Lord. 
to, to let that energy flow out of your spine in the name of Jesus and go to that area of your digestive system. Praise the name of Jesus. He'll do it. Hallelujah. He will do it. And, uh, and and bring wholeness to you. <clears throat> and that that's what that's what we we want to see. Hallelujah. Uh, you know, third John verse two says, Beloved, I wish above all things that you be in health. Prosper and that be you in prosper health. and be in health. Be in health, not always getting a healing. Do you see how that verse reads? Be in health. I want to walk in that health. I want to walk in wholeness in the name of Jesus. Even as your soul, even your as your soul, inner prosper. man, yes, prosper. yes, Let your inner man rise up. Hallelujah. And then you're you'll walk in health. Hallelujah. You know, when the Lord began to show me about the spinal area, and you know that many times the 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 physicians will do what they call a spinal tap. Uh, which is what they do is they go in and they get some of that fluid and then they analyze it and they make decisions based on that spinal fluid about what's going on in a person's body. Well, I was meditating on that and I was asking the Lord, teach me about the, the, the spinal area. And what I saw immediately was a spinal cord and I saw electrical currents uh, going out from each side of that spinal area. It was like electricity going out into all parts of the body. And the Lord said, any type of injury or any type of attack from the enemy, it will stop that fluid from flowing and the electricity from flowing. And that's what Brother Fred has been teaching on tonight. And so we want to break any assignment off of any of you from the enemy. From the enemy. I break every Amen. assignment of the Amen. enemy off of you in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. This night, it's broken. Amen. So that the fluid can flow, the electricity can flow uh, in your body, making you ever with whole and fit for the kingdom Hallelujah. in the name of Jesus, the name of Jesus. Well, then I was sharing that with a friend of mine and I didn't know that she had worked for a chiropractor uh, for about eight years. And she says, you know, when I was working for the chiropractor, that was the first thing that he checked was the spinal area. They, they might've come in because of headaches or, or allergies or sinus problems, uh, uh, for um, all different kinds of issues, uh, hip area uh, is, a, is a big one. And she said they would come into his office, but the very first thing that he would do was analyze what was going on in the spinal area, in the spinal area. And so I speak to all of your spines. I speak to Freddie's yeah, spine, yeah. speak to my spine, in the name of Amen. Jesus, Amen. that they are aligned, perfectly aligned, Amen. how God made them to be. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. 